What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So I said I wasn't going to talk about this game that doesn't exist and um, this game that I'm disavowing all knowledge of its existence. So as far as I'm concerned, this video is completely hypothetical because I don't even know what Factions 2 is. Okay, so I'm talking about something hypothetically that I've never heard of that I completely accept doesn't exist. It's a figment of our imagination. But just to have the conversation about it and just to do this video, we're going to pretend it exists, right? So it's, very, it's been very clear that Factions 2 has been in development hell. It's been an absolute turmoil. Things have been going really bad for the development of it. Um, I think mainly on the, the games as a service and live service front. I don't think the actual development of the quality of the multiplayer is what's go what's what's been prob what's been problematic for Naughty Dog. I just don't believe that's the issue. I think they have and know how to make a good multiplayer game and they've had trouble making it into a live service game. I think that's the clear problem. Because and I, the reason I believe that is because when you look at factions, the original factions, and you look at that as a foundation of a multiplayer, they already had a great multiplayer right there. So that's the reason I, be, I find it hard to believe that they couldn't essentially just make a sequel to something that was already great to begin with. So I think the problem is making this game a live service game. Now, the, the most recent um, news, bad news that we've gotten uh, regarding this fictional game, this fairy tale game that we all know doesn't ex doesn't exist, never heard of it, is the Anders Howard, the uh, principal monetization designer that they hired about a year ago, who's also like the genius behind the Fortnite monetization system. He's left the studio after about a year. Now, how can you develop and finish a la a live service, a games as a service, without the genius monetization designer? The answer is you can't. So it's clearly, clearly been put on ice as the report, um, as the former report said, not in development by any main team. Maybe a skeleton crew was working on some small stuff because they haven't officially confirmed it's been canceled. But I think, I think it's a safe bet that it, that it's more, it's leaning more to be canceled. I think that's very safe that it's leaning more to be canceled. But once again, I just have a hard time believing it's the quality of the game that's the problem. I think they're just having a hard time making it into this long-term games as a service, live service game. I think it's the longevity problem, and we we kind of know that also from you know Bungie didn't give it give it its stamp of approval mainly for how like long-term it is and and the sustainability and and the stickiness, and that's the important part of like creating a live service game. But even though I'm going to acknowledge that this game is canceled and I'm just accepting that, I think there's also a simple solution to this, to how you can release factions and everybody can be happy. I think that, because here's the thing, I'm pro live service games because that's what all multiplayer games have evolved into. There's almost, there's virtually no multiplayer game that's released now that is not a live service game. Every multiplayer game is, is, is live service. They're synonymous now. They're one and the same. I don't think it's st it'll stay that way forever, but that's how it is in the industry. So what I think Naughty Dog should do is release factions as a regular multiplayer game. Now, you could say, you know, that for, the, uh, for their plan, of creating these games as a service that make the money long term, that's not a great idea. But okay, I think that's better than working on the game, hiring all these people, putting all this money into it, and releasing nothing. Because here, because here, here's the thing, right? Naughty Dog pretty much confirmed that the original vision of factions um, evolved into something different. Um, something with co-op, something with story, something with it, it, it evolved into this um, ever-changing, uh, you know, game that's that's more of a counterpart uh, to the campaign 
and is still and things are it, it, it like pushes the Last of Us universe as we know it. Why does it have to do all that? We don't need a story in this multiplayer game. Why does this multi why does this multiplayer game need a story? Why does this multiplayer game need co-op? That adds a whole bunch of system, a whole bunch of systems, a whole bunch of mechanics, a whole bunch of development time for stuff that doesn't matter. And I blame, yeah, I do blame, there's several parties to blame for that, I think. I think some, uh, the fact that some Sony fans act so anti-multiplayer, they feel like they had to add a story component to this. I feel like, yeah, the push uh, partially uh, from uh, Jim Ryan and the and the uh, you know the criticism from Bungie um, also play, played a part, right? I'm once again, no, I am not one of these people who think that you know uh, Jim Ryan is the sole cause and he's the devil. I think all of you are very emotional beings, and y'all are not looking at the objective facts. Um, so that's that's how I look at it. But my point is, release a regular multiplayer game. And because think about it. Right now, people, people, people are still playing the original factions right now, right now. Me and a lot of people I know played factions as little as it was supported because, you know, it was meant to be this multiplayer game that just got like, what, three um, iterations of, of, of content, of expansions and stuff like that. And then they was left alone. People played that for several years. The original factions, as a regular multiplayer game, no long-term roadmap, was played longer and is still alive than several other games as a service. Now, I know some people use that as a point as to why games as a service shouldn't exist, but I disagree with that. I just think not everybody should be doing games as a service. I think games as a service should be reserved for very specific developers and publishers who can actually um, handle it. Not to, and I do think Sony is one of them, but I do think there will be growing pains. Um, and you know, when it comes to single player games, there's issues uh, during the de during the development process and things you don't see coming. So the same thing is going to be even more so with multi with games as a service, which is still a technically new thing in the industry. It's you know, it's still fairly new. It's still a baby. Um, and look, if if games as a service is not this thing that that the, that is actually sustainable and not what people want, then I think, just like anything else in the gaming industry, it will heal itself. It will purge itself. It will kill off anything that that is not worthy of being here. You know, it's ga gaming Darwin Darwinism, natural selection. I think it applies to gaming too. Anything that's not meant, not viable, not sustainable, it will die off. So we'll so that remains to be seen. But the point is, yes, if factions as a regular multiplayer game with minimal content survived that long and I guess this long, I don't see why you can't just cut all the fat, all that extra stuff that you were planning on, all that filler, say, okay, let's cut all that and just release a solid multiplayer game. Problem fixed. We'll, we'll we'll cut the cut the scope, cut the size of what we were originally planning, release something smaller but great, and that's also something that I've pointed out. That's 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 the often the downfall of a lot of studios is getting is just getting a little bit too ambitious. A ambition in gaming is one of the most dangerous things ever. When developers start to get too ambitious, bro, how many times have we heard, oh, our most ambitious project, large, it, that, that's usually a, a, like a red flag, a sign to be scared of. Ambition, um, and, and people like to kill me for it, but it'd be true, ambition and innovation, a lot of that stuff, not that, it's, not that it, it doesn't have its place and it's not important, but it's a little bit overrated, and I think people you know, focus on it a little bit too much. And uh, I think get what gaming needs is things to be optimized and things to be great more than it needs to be, you know, the, the next most ambitious thing and the, and the most innovative thing. In innovative, innovation is honestly overrated. 
when I look at some of my best, my favorite gaming experiences, it's not the games that did it first. It's the games that did it the best. It's the ones that took what they saw from others and then did it better. So I'm, j I'm just saying, release a regular multiplayer game. That's all you got to do. Release a regular multiplayer game. Cut off all that fat. Cut off all that extra, all the, all the filler, all the fluff. Cut your losses and let's just release a nice solid package. If people play it for two years, hey, then it's a success. E Here's the thing. Even if you release a nice, you know, solid, you know, just regular multiplayer game, you could always also like pivot and maybe exp like stuff can be expanded into a games as a service later on like it a, a game as a, so games as a service doesn't have to start out as a games as a service there have been games that have pivoted into that and kind of unintentionally became games as a service so that could be your plan later on i'm just saying i just think there's a simple way out and a simple fix where you could still release factions those are my thoughts on this game that I disavow any um, any acknowledgement of his of it of his, his, his existence. Tripping over my words. Um, those are my thoughts. Now I'm gonna go back to pretending this doesn't exist. Never heard of it. Don't ask me no questions about it. I'm not talking about it. Don't know what y'all talking about. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>